Hey guys! So I am going to be talking to you guys about stage makeup and how you put it on. So this should be very fun. Sorry for the lighting. I got a new phone and um, it every time I start a recording it gets really dark and I don't know why but whatever. So I'm going to just jump right onto it. I'm going to talk about what I have in my Ben Nye makeup kit. And then I'll talk you through how to put it on and what the stuff is used for. So let's just jump right onto it. First thing we have is our eyeliner pencil. Obviously, eyeliner goes on top, obviously, around your eye. Girls, here's my tip know how to put on stage makeup because you're probably gonna need help like 20 other guys do theirs. So this is a sponge for aging i'm not going to show you how to do aging makeup i don't know a how to do it myself or um yeah so i'm just going to show you the typical stage makeup next we have our sponge i'm not going to put on my foundation that's what this is all about and then yeah my advice would be to use one side for your foundation and leave the other blank just in case you need to use the other side. So, and I know that's a little hard because after a while it builds up as you can see right there. So, that is our sponge. Next we have our foundation. And this kit that I have, it's specifically for me. And we all have these kits, and we have to pay $10 for it. Excuse me, actually. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. It's specifically for us. It's our tone, our color. And the company is Ben Nye, as it says on the powder. This is the powder, if you haven't figured that out. You use the powder afterwards to make sure that your makeup does not smudge and that you don't shine on stage so Ben Nye is a company that my school uses and it has all of this which covers pretty much all that you need for makeup um, sometimes you'll need more things but your school should this should let you know or you know whatever you do so we got our brush yep so Usually the specific brushes, but this is stage makeup, you guys. This isn't, like, real makeup. And last but not least, we got our palette. And on the back, it says what everything is. So my lip color is the red one. As you see, it says lip right there. Lips. And then shadow would be underneath it. That one for me. And then rouge is blush. Remember that. Um, good thing my director actually saw me put my makeup on because I would have messed it up. And this is highlight. So lips, shadow, highlight, rouge. As you can tell, um, lips and shadow are pretty obvious, but um, you actually can't tell, but your highlight goes on your eyebrow which I'll show you and your blush your cheekbones so I'm gonna get started here I'm not gonna do my foundation but I'll tell you what you will need to do with your foundation your foundation literally goes all the way up into your hairline is what my director has us do and behind your ears and all the way down to your neckline. I would have your director check um, like where your neckline is. I can personally get away with it because I'm colored and nobody's going to like pay that close attention and I know how to do my own makeup. <laughs> so usually it's like down to here-ish, right where your vocal cords are. Maybe a little higher, kind of where that like line is. At least I have that line. but. So about like a halfway down your neck-ish, 
or three fourths I don't know so just generally here all the way around really make sure you get your edges and your ears as well so that's how you do your foundation obviously you just smear it on you just you know dip it and well get some on and yeah you know sorry if guys are watching this they seriously don't understand I had to do like 20 guys makeup for one show so okay now I will show you how you do this there is something really important and that is called blending see if I can open this I always had trouble and you're gonna hear that word a lot when you are in theater especially if you're somebody who is tanned or colored I'm not being racist obviously I'm colored too so um there we go about time wow seriously just got shadow all over me not shadow highlights okay sorry so now without the labels on it lips shadow rouge highlight so with lips what I do is I just take my finger and put it on I hope you can see this I'm only making this video once so if you are somebody with dry lips I suggest putting petroleum jelly on or um the other jelly stuff I have petroleum jelly what's the other stuff Vaseline sorry Vaseline or petroleum jelly same thing I put it on all the time when I have a show and it actually makes your lips um, glossy and it actually on some people look really good so anyways my lips are on I don't can't really see it but it's on and like I said I would put this on too and I'll just do it for the heck of it so you guys can see a little bit so just a little bit on and you are afterwards you are gonna have um like your lips on your fingers so make sure you wipe it off there you can kind of see that yeah maybe I'll try and get a bit of light okay you see that I kind of just slobbed mine on but um yeah you get the idea um my lips especially with stage makeup get really chapped and dry so um and cracked so I always use that and some people have um a lip liner so you're just gonna line your lips with that with the pencil or whatever you have and then smear this on and then put the jelly on or Vaseline if you need it next thing I am going to do is um, my eyeshadow and just do a little bit I have to be really careful with mine Because if I get too much, then that's a bad thing. Okay. Really trying to do this. I haven't done this in a while, guys, so don't judge. Before you put your shadow on, put your um, eyeliner on. And usually, directors want that to go on your top. Which I'm not going to show you. And I honestly don't put mine on just because I can get away with it. So... Um, I'm just gonna briefly do this. So. It took me forever and I was really scared to put this on because, like I said, I am colored, so it's like you do too much and um, it's bad. Okay. That one you can really see, this one you can't. This is not real makeup, it's like. It isn't liquidly, but it's like a solid liquid stuff. So, um, yeah, so that is on. What I do if I really want to make my eyes pop more, 
usually my makeup is kind of up to me. My directors don't really care what I do. Um, for colored reasons. Um, what I did last time was I, I actually did it the right way. I did my eyeliner on bottom really, really thin. And then I had mascara on. So. And now, after you're done with that, wipe it off. Because you're probably using the same brush for your eyeshadow and highlight. And now I'm going to do highlight. As you can see. There we go. So. Here's what I mean by blending. So, mine's going to show up very, very light. I know it looks like I'm not... I don't know what I'm doing, but trust me. Stage makeup is different than real makeup. Let's get that fact straight. I probably put a little too much on. But, it's just to show you guys... The first time I had stage makeup put on me for high school, I had somebody else do it. Now, here's what I mean by blend. You are going to take your finger and literally blend it. And what I do, it looks weird off stage, on stage it looks great. What I do sometimes is I will... Where does it go? I will um get some off too but I put a little bit too much on so let's get that in the lighting see it actually looks semi-decent I always like my stage makeup better than my real makeup which is kind of weird but this stuff is not comfortable to wear so um okay and the last thing we have is a blush and that is right here And obviously with blush, it goes on your cheeks and all the way up. There you go. Can you guys see where I'm doing that? Right on my cheekbone, all the way across. My advice for you guys would be to... Did it really... Like dry up or something. Anyways, my advice for you guys would be start with a very little amount and then put more on. Especially if you're somebody that's me who's Indian. And yeah. So as you can see right on my cheekbone all the way up. You don't want to go too low with this. And I don't know if that is even even. But there you go and that went a little too high but you can always take it off and you can always add more and that is how you do stage makeup and what I do then um like I said if you are colored you are gonna have exceptions on what you can do with yours I personally always do something on my own like I get this stuff on this is the main stuff I put on but, like I said, I use my actual um, eyeliner and eye uh, mascara. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, some people, eyelash curlers. Um, I usually don't use eyeliner. Uh, I don't usually use it. Sorry, I can't talk today. So then what I do is I use this mm, the Balsies volume and for me it looks really good. Um, it really makes my eyelashes pop. Yeah, a lot of times I'll do my eyeliner on bottom because um, obviously my hair is black. So um, I only use this to really make my eyelashes pop. I don't do it obviously for the color. I make it, I do it to make it pop. Okay. 
and like I said before, or at least maybe in a different video, when I was recording this 20 times, um, stage makeup is different from actual makeup. And so, there you go. That doesn't really pop, but that is how you do stage makeup. And this would look a lot better if I had foundation on. But, yeah, that is how you do it. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want other videos, what kind of videos you want. Um, yeah, so, um, when you have hair and you actually do the whole round of makeup, it looks a lot better. So, like I said... I will talk to you guys later. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I don't know if I can do any more like makeup tutorials, um, stage makeup wise. Um, I can always look something up and try it, but I don't want to waste my makeup because it is for school. So, later guys!